Hey what's up YouTubers, it's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to use the repeat grid tool in Adobe XD. So to start with I've got my document set up. I've chosen to use the iPhone 6 for this example but yours can be whatever you like. Now with a lot of app designs and site designs you may have a page that has lots of content. It might be imagery content or text content but more often than not, it will follow a very similar format. So it will be styled once and then it will be repeated down the page. The image and the text may change, but the actual layout and the structure will remain the same. And when mocking up apps or sites in Adobe XD, we can use the repeat grid tool to take a lot of the legwork out of doing this for a mockup. So let me show you how we do this. So to start with, I'm going to select the rectangle tool over here left click anywhere on the artboard and hold shift to create a perfect square. And I'm just going to drag from this center point to create something like this. Now I'm going to give this a fill and I'm just going to make it gray, a very light shade of gray and then go to the border and just set that to zero and hit enter. So you should have something that looks like this. Now I'm going to select the rectangle tool again, I left click and hold, and this time I'm going to create a, let's go with a slightly darker gray. So again, we'll just remove that border, zero and enter, and the fill, I'm just going to make it a slightly darker gray. So it stands out against the lighter gray behind it. So now what I'm going to do is select the type tool, just left click, anywhere on the artboard and I'm going to type content title. Now I can press command A on the Mac or control A on the PC to select all of this text. Just make sure it's left aligned, which it is. That's great. Pick any fonts, font weight and font size that you like over there on the right. And then we'll just drag that into position. So we've got content title. Now what we're going to do is left click this and holding shift and alt just drag that down and it will create a copy. Now I'm going to drop the size of this down a little bit. Let's go down to something like 14, I think, for this example. And I'm just going to write some placeholder text here. So this is a short description about the item below. Then what I can do, I'm just going to just hit return there. So we move the about onto the line below. So something like this, just so it all sits within the gray box. And then I'm going to do this one more time with the title. So left click, hold shift and alt. This will drag it perfectly straight down and create a copy. I'm going to double click and then just type read more. And I'm going to select all of that text again and just change regular to bold. And I'm going to make this smaller. So this is a, an imaginary piece of content. So there'll be a title, a brief description, and then by clicking read more, you may go to view the full piece of content. So it could be an article, a blog post, it could be anything. So there we go. So we've got this layout here. You have your image there, your title, your description, and your call to action, which is read more. So we've created this now. What about if we wanted to repeat this down the page? Now we don't want to have to copy and paste this loads and loads. So what we can do is we can just select everything. So just drag over everything with our selection tool. Click on repeat grid. And you'll see that you get these two handlebars appear on the bottom and the right hand side. Now you can drag this out to the right. So if you're working on a website design, you can drag this across and then you can go down. Because we're working on an iPhone 6 screen for this example, we're just going to drag down. So we just left click and drag. And it will just add in some copies there. And what you can do now is because you will never see, on a good app design anyway, inconsistent spacing between elements. If I select in between the space, and you'll see it turns pink here, when I left click and drag up or down, it automatically selects all the other gaps between that content that you've repeated and it will keep them consistent. 
So that's a really useful tip there. So you can adjust this as you need to and it will keep them all consistent going down the screen. And there we go. That's how you use the repeat grid tool in Adobe XD. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.